detonators. <laughs> The challenge here, it sits dangerously close to a power plant, just 50 feet away. Most Dutch chimneys are brought down by hand, but this unique job calls for a blaster. Jacob Utenbegaard. Hi, Jacob. It's great to finally meet you. Yeah, me too. Born into a family of blasters, blowing stuff up is in Jacob's blood. It's a nice job. The bangs to bring down big buildings, control. That's a rush, gives you a rush. But he'll need more than good genes to take down this massive chimney. So this is the uh, smokestack we got to go. Demo crews first tried to dismantle this giant tower mechanically, but they quickly realized that was a mistake. The crumbling heavy bricks that lined the old stack came crashing down on the workers. But everything was coming down uh, on top of their heads, so it wasn't safe for them to do their job. Making the task even more difficult is that the concrete used to build this chimney is reinforced with steel rebar rods. So the only option is to blow it to the ground. But blasting it won't be easy. One false move, and it could destroy the power plant, a costly setback. So the job you've got to do is drop the smokestack away from the building so it doesn't interfere with any of the work that's still going on inside. Correct, yeah. Jacob's plan is to blast a wedge-shaped slice out of the side of the chimney, the side away from the power plant. Gravity will pull the weight of the massive chimney toward the gap and away from the factory. It's all about precision. Jacob's even drawn his own line in the sand marking where he expects the top of the chimney to land. That's the end of the stack. So this is where yeah, it's going to drop? when it comes down, this is the end, yeah. OK, and that's if it stays in one that's piece? That's if it stays in one piece. And it comes piece. down like a giant redwood. Yeah, correct. Pam, like yeah. that. 